Welcome to Point Maker. This video is part one of the PVI Control App tutorial. Part one covers the functions in the PVI Control toolbar. Part two covers the functions in the Point Maker control panel. And now, part one, the toolbar. You can tap this cursor to show the toolbar or hide it. The marker menu allows you to select your marking tool, your marker color, and your line thickness. Tap OK when finished. You can also select Erase Mode, which allows you to erase marks much the same a pencil eraser would. Choosing the Highlight tool is a good choice when you want to highlight text documents. To create a text label, touch the T icon. Tap the area you want the text label to begin, and a keyboard will automatically appear. Type your text, and then tap Done on the keyboard. To exit typing mode, select the pencil in the marker menu, and continue annotating your image. Touch this icon to undo the most recent marking. Then touch this icon to clear your drawings. This icon allows you to select any photo from your photo albums. Note that whenever you change to a new background or send a new image to the point maker, which we'll learn about later, all annotations will clear, allowing you to start fresh with your marking. This icon allows you to choose from different documents and templates. For example, you can choose from a whiteboard, notepaper, or chalkboard. Here I've selected Notepaper and can now write on this new template. Once you've opened documents into the PVI app through Dropbox or an email, they will appear on the lower part of the template menu. Here I've opened a Word document, ready for annotation. You can save your current screen at any time by touching this icon. A message will appear asking you to confirm or cancel. If confirmed, the image will be saved to your camera roll. The Send Image icon presents several ways to send your current screen. You can send the screen to the Point Maker, where it will be shown on any third-party display connected to the Point Maker. With your work displayed in the PVI Control app, touch the Send Image icon in the toolbar, then Send to Point Maker. Your content will be sent to the Point Maker and any connected display. Select your marker color if you haven't already, and annotate both images at once. In turn, you can also get from Point Maker, which means getting a screen capture of what is displayed by any source connected to the Point Maker, such as a laptop or document camera. From within the PVI Control app, touch the Send Image icon as before but this time touch Get From Point Maker. Depending on connections, it may take a few seconds to appear on your iPad. Now close the menu, choose your marking tools for greatest contrast with the image, and show the audience the power of your presentation. Note that the point maker froze the video image in order to send it to the iPad. To bring back the live point maker image, call up the PVI control panel from your toolbar and then select the source video you were using or a new source video. Also available in the send image menu are options to share your image content on Facebook or Twitter or as an email photo attachment. OK, back to the remaining icons on the PVI Control Toolbar. The Connection or Remote Control icon establishes your a connection between the app and the point maker. This instruction assumes you've already connected a point maker to a video source, display, and LAN network, and that the point maker is turned on. For more about network setup, see our YouTube video Setting Up a Point Maker Network. To access the Point Maker Setup menu for the first time, press the Print Screen key on your Point Maker keyboard. The Setup menu will appear on the display or monitor that is connected to your Point Maker. 
Select Display, then System Info. In this menu, make note of the IP address your point maker is set to. Go back to the main menu and select Network, then Multipoint. In this menu, select Connect, enter a meeting name and password if needed, then select Connect to Meeting. You'll see the Connection OK message. Then exit the menu by pressing Exit. Now, on your iPad, touch the connection icon on your PVI control toolbar. Be sure the same name, password, and IP address are entered in this menu, then touch Connect. The Connect icon shows that the connection with the point maker is now live. Now for the remaining icons on the PVI control toolbar. The Settings icon allows you to change how the app saves and sends your content. When QuickShare is on, you can send your content to the point maker in one step without a submenu offering social media choices. Turning on Autosave automatically saves a copy of your current image and markings to the Photos folder every time you send a new image to the point maker. The last switch is Share Marks. When this is on, all markings you make will be shared in real time with the point maker and any connected display. When this is turned off, annotations and content will not be shared with the point maker. You'll only see them on your iPad. You will also see a connections list which displays all the connection names you've established with the point maker. This will allow you to quickly connect to them at a later time. To delete a connection name, click Edit. Touch the red minus sign next to the connection you want to delete and touch OK. Touching the Point Maker Control Panel icon will bring up the Control Panel. This menu accesses the most commonly used Point Maker commands from the convenience of your iPad. Details on making selections in this panel are covered in our video entitled PVI Control App Tutorial Part 2 – The Control Panel. Press Exit to exit the PVI Control menu. Finally. The last icon on the toolbar calls up the Support menu, which includes Help, Feedback, the opportunity to rate this app, and the ability to share the PVI Control app via Facebook, Twitter, or email. Hey, we'd like that! This was an overview of the PVI Control iPad app. If you need further support, please don't hesitate to contact us by email or by phone. You can also get more tips from us by following us on Twitter, liking us on Facebook, or subscribing to our YouTube channel.